Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about iterative constructs in Java. And you are going to see about for loops and, the, and its usage. So what is an iteration? A set of instructions to be performed repeatedly until a certain condition is satisfied or fulfilled. So if you want to execute some set of statements continuously without any intervention, until a certain condition is satisfied then you can call it as an iteration or you can call it as loops or looping statements we have three kinds of loops for loop while loop and do while loop so we are in this video we are going to see about for loop so before going to for loop you are going to see what are the different elements used in a loop we have four elements which has been used initialization expressions test expression, update expression and the body of the loop. So we are going to see as a flow diagram. So we are going to start with the for loop. It is used for fixed number of iterations. So for loop is used if you know how many times you are going to execute the loop. So for example if the initial value is 1 and the final value is 10 that means you know that it should execute 10 times. So it is called as fixed number of iteration. In that case, you can use for loop. So this is a flow diagram. You will have an initialization statement after which it will go to the condition. If the condition is true, it enters the body of the loop. And after executing the body of the loop, it will directly go to the increment statement or decrement statement. It increases or decreases the value. And again, it goes to the condition. If it checks whether the condition is true or false, if it is true, it goes on to execute the statements inside and then it goes on repeating it and until the condition becomes false. Once it becomes false, it comes out of the loop. You can notice one thing. Initialization statement is used only for the first time. After which you cannot use the initialize statement. Okay? It uh, checks only the condition and then it increases the uh, increases or decreases the control variable and you can notice another thing after initialization it directly goes to the condition after which it don't go to the increment uh, or decrement statement it enters the body of the loop after executing the body of the loop only it will go to the increment or decrement statement so we will see a uh, program example you can see the uh, loop that is for loop uh, for keyword and open parenthesis then this is a declaration and initialization statement so this will be the initial value and then you will have a condition second statement and then finally third statement will be the increment or decrement value and then you will have a body of the loop so this is how the format of a for loop look like now we will see an uh, example to print numbers from 1 to 5 so you have to declare a variable and then initialize that with the uh, initial value that is the starting value so i equal to 1 so i1 is the start value and you are going to check a condition if the uh, i value reaches 5 it will stop the program or stop the loop until that it keeps on executing it so you should have an increment statement to increase the i value every time so that it reaches this final uh, final value and we are inside the body of the loop you can see the uh, output statement to print the i value so it goes on to start with the initial value goes to into the condition statement the condition is true because 1 is less than or equal to 5 so it enters inside prints the i value that is 1 and you can see it in the output screen and then it will go to the increment statement so i value become it becomes 2 increases by 1 and then it checks again 2 less than or equal to 5 yes it is so it enters inside the loop and then prints the i value that is 2 so it goes on like that till it reaches uh, we will start with uh, say for example 4 so after 4 it increases the value of i so it becomes 5 now 5 less than or equal to 5 now it is not lesser than but it is equal to 5 so it enters inside so it will print 5 after 5 i value will be increased by 1 so it becomes 6 after that it checks the condition where it is not lesser than and not equal not equal to 6 so it will uh, the condition is false so it comes out of the loop statement now we are going to see another example 
here it is going uh, in reverse order say the initial value is 10 and the final value is 1 so that you should use a, a decrement statement so that you will print in reverse order so you can see the condition also it is uh, changed it is greater than or equal to 1 so once it uh, the same uh, the routine is same it initializes the value checks the condition execute the statement and then decreases the value so it goes on till it becomes 1 so you can see the numbers which is printed from 10 to 1 not only integer array you can also use and character array you can you can see how the character array is used you can see that it is initialized as character instead of integer <coughs> now the control variable start value is a within single quotes then the final value is uh, z with its single quote so it goes on printing from a to z and you can see less than or equal to same like integer it works but only thing is it will uh, print the characters instead of numbers so the function is the functioning is same once you execute this statement uh, this loop you can see the output screen where you can see the values from a to z is printed next we are going to see an uh, factorial program you will see some uh, some other variables where you can get the input and then the variable to store the uh, output screen so here you can see i value is declared that is a control variable n is the value which is uh, got from the user to uh, to identify how many number of times you are going to execute the loop and the fact is the variable where you are going to store the factorial so first we will see what is a factorial if i want to find say 5 factorial it will multiply the numbers from 1 it keeps on multiplying till 5 so 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 so it multiplies all the numbers in the order and then it till it reaches 5 after reaches 5 it will uh, store that product of all the numbers and then that is the factorial of the given list say so here i am going to enter the value which is stored in n and then i am going to execute this for loop till n here no uh, we cannot say that what is the number of iteration while uh, designing the program we will know only when you execute the program so once you execute the program you can always change the numbers every time so you can give 5 it can, you can give 10 or any numbers so it starts from 1 it goes on till uh, the uh, the n value that is entered by the user and here inside the body of the loop you can see that uh, the factorial value has been found by multiplying the value see here I have given as 1 usually the default value you store it as 0 since you are multiplying something you cannot put 0 here if you put 0 if you multiply any number with 0 it becomes 0 so the answer also becomes 0 so yeah, that's the reason I am using 1 for multiplication and in the same case of division also you can use only 1 not 0 ok only in the case of uh, addition or subtraction you will be using uh, 0 as the default value right so here I am multiplying the uh, i value so till it reaches 5 uh, say for example the n value is 5 which is given in the output screen so the i value will start from 1 and it goes on till 5 so it will be like 1 into then 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 so it goes on multiplying and then store it the value inside back then finally we are going to print the output screen the factorial of n is fact so this, this is a statement where it will print the uh, n value that is the, uh, what you entered and then along with the factorial of that so they can see you can see the output the factorial of 5 is 120 so i hope that you understood this video how to use uh, for loops and it is used in uh, used for a fixed number of iterations so we will see some more videos about for loops so till then, thank you.